Good morning, Logan County. I'm Brian. And I'm Lindsay. Let's start our day with a little inspiration. Today's daily devotional comes from James 1, 2 through 4. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance is a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Amen. Welcome to Logan County Breakfast, where we bring you the best start to your day right here in Logan County, Arkansas. We're here to keep you informed, entertained, and inspired. So grab your coffee and let's get started. All right, folks, buckle up for this next story. It's all about transformation, resilience, and, well, a little bit of clutter. We'll get into it right after this brief message. Don't go away. Welcome to Penhamo Mexican Restaurant, where tradition and community come together. For over two decades, Penhamo has been more than just a place to dine. It has been a pillar of support for Logan County. From sponsoring Little League baseball teams to hosting unforgettable graduation parties, Penhamo has been there every step of the way. At Penhamo, they take pride in nurturing relationships that last a lifetime. Their commitment to the community runs deep just like the flavors of their authentic Mexican cuisine. Join them tonight and experience the warmth of Pinhamo, where every meal is a celebration of their rich heritage and enduring community spirit. Pinhamo Mexican Restaurant, serving Logan County since 2003. Looking for a place to stay active, social, and informed? Boonville Senior Center is here for you. Join us for lunch Monday through Friday and enjoy activities like Jeopardy, Drums Alive, Bingo, Crafts, and more. Stay sharp with games like Super Noggin, keep fit in our exercise room, or join our Bible study or line dancing for meaningful connection. From scam awareness to health screenings, we provide valuable presentations to keep you informed. We even offer transportation so you never miss out. Don't miss out on our special events like Derby Day or our weekly food giveaways. At Boonville Senior Center, it's about staying connected, engaged, and active in a supportive community. Call Boonville Senior Center today at 479-675-4851 for more information. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Tammy and Kenny Perry. It is a little chilly outside. We, I'll take that over 90 degrees any day. Mm -hmm. And good morning, Tommy Joe. Good morning, everyone. Have you ever heard the term hoarder? Well, today we're talking about a woman who turned her life around and is now helping others do the same. Yes, meet Lisa Curtis. Lisa grew up loving to collect things, so much so that she later realized it might actually be more like hoarding. But the real turning point came in 2013 after her father passed away. She discovered that his house was in absolute chaos. Turns out he was also a hoarder. Imagine walking into your dad's house after all those years and it's packed with clutter. Lisa spent six months, her weekends, mind you, sifting through his belongings, sorting what to keep, what to donate, what to sell, and what to finally throw away. That was the beginning of a major life change for her. And it wasn't just about cleaning her father's house. This process made her realize that she had some of the same tendencies in her own home. So she turned her attention to her own space, and little by little, Lisa got rid of thousands of items. Talk about a clean sweep. Fast forward to today, Lisa's actually made a career out of helping others tackle their clutter. She earns around $50,000 a year uh, walking into homes that are stacked to the brim with belongings and helping people reclaim their space. And what we're not talking about is just a few extra knickknacks, folks. Some of these homes are filled with piles of stuff. Even things like rat-infested chairs are worse. That's right. She helps people who, just like her, have emotional attachments to their things. Whether it's older men living in a tiny corner of their cluttered homes, or women with shopping addictions who can't stop buying crafting supplies or home decor, Lisa understands them. She says every hoarder has a story behind their habits. It's not always unsanitary, but let's be real, Lisa has seen it all. From mildew-covered furniture to freezers filled with mold, she's gotten elbow deep in some pretty tough situations. But for her, the reward is seeing the difference she she's makes in people's lives. And if you're curious, you can actually check out some of Lisa's work on TikTok. <clears throat> she's at Mother Cl Clutter UK. And trust me, you'll be amazed at the before and after transformations she's pulling off. 
So a big shout out to Lisa Curtis, the decluttering queen. Not only did she clean up her own life, but she's out there doing it for others and making a huge impact in the process. Talk about turning a messy situation into a meaningful career. More power to you, Lisa. I think we've all had those tendencies at some point mm -hmm. in our in our lives where we can't throw things away. Yes. I remember when when we met, you were the exact opposite. If you didn't use it, yeah, week, it was <laughs> I was like, I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> throw it away. Throw yes. it away. Now, <clears throat> now we've switched roles a bit. Um, maybe so. Maybe so. I still don't mind throwing things away. Yeah. So, but I understand how people do have emotional attachments to things. Lane had emotional attachment to his Burger King hat and his room the little oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like nothing he's like oh it means so much it's when me and kieran went to yeah. burger king so things do mean something to people good morning todd yes good morning here's a look at today's weather in logan county sponsored by baker shelter insurance today mainly sunny cooler high around 77 that is amazing tonight clear skies Low near 46 degrees. <clears throat> well, whose birthday is today? Um, let's check. Today is Jeannie Rogers' birthday. Happy birthday, Jeannie. If you see Jeannie today, be sure and wish her a happy birthday. You can submit birthdays to us via Facebook Messenger or by emailing us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. So how is Jeannie your cousin? Is she your cousin? <clears throat> Somehow, yeah. Okay. You're not sure how? Well, I think it's through marriage, through uh, my Uncle Leroy's uh, wife, Laura is related to Jeannie somehow. Okay. Yeah. I believe that's how it was. Good morning, Joey. Good morning. And pumpkin rolls sound amazing. Sounds very good. Right there, if that's where oh, you're yeah. looking. Tammy and, Tammy. <laughs> Tammy's making... I bet your house smells amazing, too. Pumpkin rolls. Oh, I love those. Mm -hmm. Another reason I think fall's the best time of year. I really don't know that I've had one. It sounds good, but yes, I really have. Francis, I have. Remember Francis? Used oh, to bring them yes. To okay. Us. Well, it's been a long time, so yeah, Francis I'd like to Rayburn. refresh my memory. And also, I got one one year from Linda Short. Okay. Hmm. Stick around for our Logan County Breakfast Daily Trivia and more. Oh, did you get us switched over to shelter insurance? Actually, I found a deal online. You did? Does your deal come with award-winning customer service? Oh. I'm not sure. Does the deal include a local agent? Doesn't actually say. Can we create a customized plan that fits our needs? Hmm. Let's just call the local shelter agent. For insurance that fits just right, find a shelter agent near you. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Contact Baker Shelter Insurance in Booneville at 479-675-2782. Rice Lawn Care and Tree Services, your trusted partner for tree care in Booneville and surrounding areas. Specializing in expert tree care and removal, they handle every job with precision. Stacy in Booneville said, Kevin and his crew did an excellent job removing three trees. Great price and quality work. Highly recommend. From hazardous tree removals to routine maintenance, they've got you covered. Serving Boonville and the surrounding communities with honest service and competitive prices. Call Rice Lawn Care and Tree Services today at 479-206-1582 for a free tree consultation. Tommy Joe, we were talking about pumpkin rolls and... Tommy Joe says, goes good with jerky. I'd love to find out. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> uh, today is National I Love You Day. Well, I love you. I love you. And it is celebrated on October 14th in the U.S. Unlike Valentine's Day, it extends beyond just couples. 
I love y'all. Okay. <laughs> it's a day to appreciate our families and friends. And well, anyone you hold dear. Mm-hmm. I like that. So happy National I Love You Day. It is now time for our news brief. I'm sure if you watched the news at all yesterday, you are familiar with this next story. SpaceX successfully launched its massive Starship and achieved the first ever catch of the supersized heavy booster at the launch site using a pair of oversized chopsticks. So one term you could use for it, I guess, and a groundbreaking test flight at the company Starbase site in Texas. This marked the fifth test flight of the Starship development program. The primary objectives were to recover both the upper stage, the Starship, and the super heavy booster and quickly refurbish them for future flights. The successful catch of the super heavy booster represented a singular, singularly novel achievement in the history of rocketry. After overcoming regulatory hurdles and receiving approval from the FAA, SpaceX is on the verge of demonstrating techniques fundamental to Starship's fully and rapidly reusable design, bringing humanity closer to a revolutionizing access to revolutionizing mm-hmm. access to space. That is amazing. Okay, sum that up for me. So essentially, the private sector has done what the public sector couldn't do because and this is this is a very good uh, example of capitalism. Um, although SpaceX does get government contracts and is still a private company, and that you're seeing them reusing there is the booster that launches the um, rocket into space. <clears throat> In all the years of the space program. They used the same shuttle that was developed in like the 60s or 70s. There was barely any innovation because there was no, there was no uh, incentive. But when you own the company and you say, hey, these um, boosters are, you know, $11 million a piece or however much they are, how can we reuse them? You, you innovate hmm, okay. and figure out ways. So what happened is, is the booster returned to the base and actually landed on the uh, the very launch pad that it w- was okay. launched from. And it was caught by uh, these two arms, essentially. Well, wow. makes sense. And now for local events. The annual Sell It Again on 10 event is coming up on November 1st and 2nd. Residents and vendors will sell new and used items along the 100-mile stretch of highway from Perry to Hackett. Be sure to check out the local storefront specials during the sell. That's always a fun time. Oh, yeah. Tammy and Kenny Perry, we love you, too, and we love you, too, Mom. Yes. It is. No? No. Oh, I thought you were about to say something. It is now time for our trivia. This week's trivia theme is aliens and UFOs. Oh, yay. Getting closer to Halloween every day. This is the name, wait, oh wait, what is the name commonly given to the small aliens with large heads, large dark eyes, and little or no hair? If you know, leave a comment, message us on Facebook, or email us at contact at coalcreekmedia.net. Small aliens with large heads, large dark eyes, and no hair. I'd rather not know. (laughs) As for last week's trivia... What 1960s cartoon featured Rosie with his ever-present feather duster in hand and funny burping punctuation? Todd Dedman said the Jetsons. You knew it, Todd. Good job. There's the contrast. We have a Roomba now. That was the foreshadowing of robots cleaning our homes in the 60s. That's crazy. Yeah. And if you've seen... 
This another development this weekend from Elon Musk was the Tesla Optimus robots. They're like the iRobot version of. Mm. They need to slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. Yeah. <laughs> As we wrap up today's show, we'd like to leave you with a motivational quote to carry you through the day. Greatness is a road leading towards the unknown. Charles de Gaulle. Very good. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining us on Logan County Breakfast. We'll see you tomorrow morning with more news, weather, and inspiration. Have a great day. Have a blessed day, everyone.